Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. In addition, students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. Both of these targeted actions are for families who need it the most. If you make under $125,000, you get $10,000 knocked off your student debt. If you make under $125,000 a year and you received a Pell Grant, you'll get an additional $10,000 knocked off that total for a total of $20,000 relief. 95% of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 43 million people. Of the 43 million, over 60% are Pell Grant recipients. That's 27 million people who will get $20,000 in debt relief. In the coming weeks, the Department of Education will lay out in detail a short and simple form to apply for this relief, along with information when this application process opens. We're fixing the student loan program system itself. We've talked about this at length. This is really important. We're proposing to make what's called an income-driven repayment plan simple and fair. And here's how. No one with an undergraduate loan today or in the future, whether for community college or a four-year college, will have to pay more than 5% of their discretionary income to, re to repay their loan. That's income after you pay the necessities like housing, food, and the like. You currently pay 10%. We're cutting that in half to 5%. And after you pay your loan for 20 years, your obligation will be fulfilled if it hadn't already been fulfilled, meaning you won't have to pay any more, period. And borrowers whose original balance was less than $12,000, many of whom are community college students, will be done paying just after 10 years. These changes will save more than $1,000 a year on average for the borrower public service loan forgiveness program. Now, this program forgives student loans to encourage those students who have those loans if they go into public service. Think of the millions who are public school teachers, local police officers, workers at local charities, members of the military and the National Guard, and so many more. Think of the folks who work for federal, state, local, tribal governments keeping essential services going, responding to natural disasters, all those firefighters and cops. The program is designed so that if you serve in one of these jobs, and we'll be able to list those and you'll be able to accurately assess whether you do, and make your loan payments for 10 years, even if it's not consecutive years, your remaining balance will be completely forgiven. The Department of Education has recently proposed changes that will make this program work better and over the long term much better. And now the department issues emergency temporary changes to retroactively credit public service so accounts and loans are forgiven. Since I've been in office, more than 175,000 teachers, nurses, police officers have been able to get over $10 billion in loan forgiveness so far through this program. But this opportunity expires on October 31st, 2022. Go to pslf.gov before October 31st to see if you qualify for public service student loan forgiveness. And one more big change we're making to the system is we're holding colleges accountable. We're going to continue to fight for doubling the Pell Grants. I didn't get that done this time. Let me say it again. 12 years of universal education is not enough. I'm going to continue to work for universal pre-K for every three- and four-year-old and universal community college for education beyond high school. 